Hey guys. In this video, I wanted to show you a quick repair that I did to the way cover on my Y axis. You can see that mine's actually been cut completely in half. And the reason is this rubber is a little bit too stiff. So when you move the table up towards the column, the, the way cover bows up above the surface of the table. And then over time, my, my vise has pinched it a few times. And then if I move the X axis while it's pinched, the vise is basically sawing its way through. I actually, uh, got a tear in this pretty early after buying the mill and then I ordered some new material and finally had to get around to replacing it because I noticed a couple of days ago that it had completely ripped through. So laying the old material on the new stuff I was able to determine the length and then using a square and a razor knife uh, make several light passes and it'll cut right through. If you do one heavy cut uh, you'll actually distort the rubber and your cut's not going to come out perfectly straight. So multiple light passes and you get through this stuff super easy. You can see it's quite a bit thinner and softer. This old stuff has maintained its shape over time. And I would actually say this is kind of a brittle rubber. The way that it was cut by the vise, it's kind of got a jagged edge. I don't think it's really a high quality material. The new rubber is called... Uh, high strength weather resistant EPDM rubber and it comes in different softnesses. Uh, this is the 50A medium on the uh, durometer hardness and it actually came from McMaster where you can get about a million different kinds of rubber. I didn't know what to buy and I had noticed in one of Haas's videos that he had replaced or repaired one of his ways so I shot him a text uh, or a, I guess a comment on his video asking him for the link and he shot it to me. So thanks Haas, everybody go check out his videos. That guy's got great information. You'll notice the ways are about five and a half inches and this old rubber is about seven and a half. So um, I think you might be able to see the problem. This new stuff is six inches by 36 long. And when Haas gave me the link, I just ordered it immediately. I didn't really think about it. But now that I have it on the mill, I think it's gonna be too narrow. So if I were buying this again, you can actually get this in a 12 by 12 sheet and that would be perfect. Uh, maybe cut it down an inch or two so it's 10 by 12. But uh, what I did was I had enough material to make three pieces and then using some split rivets, I just uh, riveted them together and made it about 12 inches or maybe it's 13 inches wide. And I think this is gonna work perfectly. Uh, in the description uh, below this video, there's a link to the six by 36 piece that I bought and the 12 by 12 piece that I would suggest you buy if you need to do this repair in the future. Now, here's the great thing. When I move the table up to the column, you'll notice that it does not raise, the rubber does not raise up above the surface of the table. So the vise is never gonna come in contact with this material. It's never gonna be able to cut it. And I think this stuff is gonna last a really long time. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you have not and like this video down below. Check the description for those links again and we'll see you in the next one.